Okay, guys, so as we come to the meat of this course, I want to give you two amazing exercises that will take you to a crossroad in your rhythmic journey, okay? As you're trying to learn chops and grow your chops, um, this exercise will give you a launching pad to other places where you can go to be creative and create more chops, okay? Um, so let's just jump right in. It involves paradiddles and ways that you can displace paradiddles and just move it around the drums, just like we've done with some of the other exercises that we've covered. So um, I won't talk too much, guys. Let's just jump right in, okay? Okay, guys, so you can see how that got faster and it started to sound like a chop, but it all started from one small pattern. As we've been doing in this full course, I've been giving you seeds that have grown into trees. So the exercise at its base level at a slow tempo is the seed. And as it grows into a tree, it becomes a chop, right? So let's check that out again. Okay, guys, so let's take that exercise and break it down, break it apart, and apply it to either a solo or a groove. Let's see what we come up with. So I'm just giving you guys a bunch of seeds, right? And as you continue to water these seeds, aka practice, they'll grow and then they'll grow branches, which represents the many different ways and crossroads that you can take these exercises and turn them into your own chops. Then they produce fruit and fruit has more seeds. And what that represents is you being able to start a chop. Let's say with 16th notes, you got the one, you got the E, you got the end, you got the uh, you got all type of displacements. You got triplets, you got eighth note triplets, you got 16th note triplets, you got 32nd triplets. And it's up to you to continue to water the seed and then you'll be able to get more creative as the tree grows, right? Then you have just this huge forest of chops that you can just you know pick from right some of your best players they've put in that time hours and hours and hours and hours of practice to where they have a forest of trees and a bunch of different um pathways and intersections and ways that they can start these chops they can start them from the floor time they can start them from the hi-hat they can start them from the kick in the snare it's just many different ways you can do these things like i'll show you a quick example like check this out Okay, so the last thing we'll do, guys, I want to take a paradiddle pattern, which is a very popular way to start chops within the gospel genre, pop, trap, R&B, whatever. I want to show you how you can take a simple paradiddle pattern and move it around just like I showed you. Um, you're opening your mind up. You're being creative and not just sticking to what you saw your favorite drummer do on YouTube or Instagram. So let me show you that right now. Okay, we're going to start with a paradiddle. And just follow me on this journey, okay? I'll break everything down. I'm going to just kind of freestyle right now. And then I'll break it down as if you were looking over my shoulder saying, hey, could you slow that down? Could you break it down? So I'm literally just going to shed in front of you guys right now, okay? Let's do it.
So that was one way that we could apply that paradiddle rudiment. Let's try again. Okay guys, so what I did there is I took the paradiddle, sometime I cut it in half. I may have started it on the E or the end or the uh or on the downbeat or on the upbeat. I may have cut it in half. I may have stuttered it like So I'm just literally shedding in front of you guys, showing you how I would move this stuff around and create these concepts, okay? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little breakdown. It was a little rough, but that's how it is shedding, guys. You're literally getting in here and just trying to explore different avenues. So you see guys online and on tour who has these fresh and new chops. They're in the shed. They're grinding it out. They're trying to figure out how can I move this around? How can I move that around? How can I do what hasn't been done before, okay? And all I've tried to do today in this course is just basically present options, give you seeds that you have to water yourself and create trees with, okay? Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that, okay, guys? Thanks.